Taliban's continued attacks on Afghan security forces have reinforced the problems facing the country's fledgling military. As the Joint Command of Foreign Forces disbanded, leaving a vacuum for the terror outfit to fill in by force. A report. The U.S. and NATO closed their combat mission in Afghanistan on Monday, more than 13 years after invading the country. The NATO command, which began in the wake of September 11 terror attacks, was meant to target al-Qaeda and trace dreaded militant Osama bin Laden. While the five-year-old Taliban-led government was routed for sheltering terrorists, the U.S.-led coalition went on to rebuild a country devastated by almost 30 years of war. The Afghan government and the departing troops have so far put a brave face on the security situation. But a rise in Taliban violence in the past 12 months has given Afghanistan its bloodiest year since 2001. It has stepped up attacks across the country under the shadow of a security vacuum. Taliban militants continue to target government buildings in southern Kandahar, the cradle of the hardline Taliban, even on Monday. A suicide bomber detonated his explosives-laden car at the main gate of a police headquarters compound, killing at least 10 people. Four heavily armed gunmen later forced their way inside the building. About 4,600 members of the Afghan security forces have been killed so far this year, up more than 6% over the same period in 2013. NATO had last week chalked out a new training mission in Afghanistan, the Resolute Support Mission, which will be launched on January 1st. It will also maintain a force of 13,000 troops in the war-torn nation for the training purpose of Afghan forces to combat terrorism.